guys, welcome back to the second part of Shape Heart Dissection for AP2 Lab. And uh, what we're going to do now is take a look at the internal anatomy. Okay, so here's our sheep heart, right? We talked about how this is an anterior view, and you can tell because you press here, it's smushy, and you press here, and it's really firm. So firm means left, smushy means right, and this view is sitting, whoops, sorry, this view of the heart is the way that you would view it if you were facing the patient. So this is anterior view. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, take a scalpel blade and I'm gonna make a frontal or coronal incision all the way around the heart, okay? We're gonna open this up like a book so that we can see the insides. So, and this muscle is very tough, so it's important to make sure you're using nice sharp equipment and be very careful that you are not cutting into your hand, okay? I'm gonna cut right through all the way around here. Okay, all right. Now, when we open this up, whoops, missed a little bit right there. Okay, when we open this up, now we're looking at the heart like it's a book. So I'm gonna put this down just a moment, okay? And what I wanna show you guys is gonna require just a little bit of a close-up. So let me just get us a little bit closer here. Okay, so now, what you can see when you open this up is that the muscle is very thin on this side. Thin mu compared to the muscle on this side, right? So thin muscle means the right side of the heart. So this is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. This is the way we would view the heart in an anterior view. But remember, the heart usually sits like this. So when I cut a frontal section through it, I end up with a posterior and an anterior half of that heart. So when I look at the posterior side, it's gonna be right, left, just like I would imagine it or would view it in an anterior view of the heart. But when I look at the anterior side of this heart, the left is now over here, because here's the thicker muscle, and the right is over here because here's the thinner muscle. So this is very important. Let the muscle be your guide. When you look at a cut surface of the heart, look to see what side has the thicker muscle on the ventricular free wall. Thin means right side. Thick means left side. And when you put them together, the right and the right and the left and the left meet up. Okay. So let's walk through the anatomy and I will use the uh, posterior side as a guide because that's what we're all used to seeing. Uh, so ventricular free wall on the right, thin, thin amount of muscle. Ventricular free wall on the left, big thick amount of muscle. This large structure right here is the interventricular septum. This is separating the right and the left side of the heart. When I take a little closer look, Right here, these stringy thingies, this is the chordae tendinae, and they're attaching into this papillary muscle right here. So papillary muscle, chordae tendinae, and chordae tendinae attach valve leaflets to the heart. So since I'm on the, what side is this, guys? You see thick muscle, so it's the, correct, the left. So when you have the left side of the heart and a valve leaflet, this is one of the leaflets from the mitral valve, okay? Here's the other one right here. So one, two, two leaflets, bicuspid or mitral valve, the fancy names for the left atrioventricular valve. Um, over here, you can see the atrium, and here is the entrance into the auricle of this side of the atrium. Now when I go onto this side here, 
have to open this up a little bit but you can see more valve leaflets here's a valve leaflet right here this is one of the three that make up the tricuspid valve or the right atrioventricular right AV valve here's more chordae tendinae and they're attaching into this piece of a papillary muscle right here up here because of the way that this has been cut you, the oracle and the atrium are sorry way up here okay. again right side of the heart if I exchange this for the anterior portion of the heart um, here's the right side over here again thin wall I can look up in here here's ventricle and see another piece of the leaflet valve right here okay which is now falling off now if we look over here this big blood vessel here coming from the left side of the heart this is the aorta so this leaflet right here that I'm playing with this is part of the aortic semilunar valve right here okay. if I look on the right side let's see if you can actually see this nope it appears that did not actually cut through the uh, pulmonary semilunar valve so I don't want to completely destroy this heart so I'm not gonna do that right now but those are the major parts of the heart that I want you guys to be able to identify. Now let's talk about path of blood flow for a moment. If I put this heart back together and I drop this probe and follow the direction it naturally wants to follow and then open this up, you're going to see that this probe naturally fell into the left ventricle so you know that this is left-sided blood flow going through the aorta what is it what part of the blood flow is it think about it yeah if you said it's systemic blood flow then you're absolutely right if you had a picture with a big letter a there and I said which letter represents systemic blood flow you would say this one because we're going from the left side of the heart right up the aorta now if I put the heart like this I'd still expect you to be able to recognize that because this is the more interior blood vessel right okay so if I took the second probe here and I went ahead put this into ow, try not to put it into my hand uh, if I put this down into the pulmonary trunk right posterior P for pulmonary and posterior if I open the heart up again you're gonna see now that this probe here it is doo -doo -doo -doo, naturally dropped into the right ventricle okay so now if you had a letter A on that probe on a picture and it said okay what a part of the circulation does that represent this would be pulmonary circulation correct because right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs so this would be our pulmonary circulation so if these were labeled a and b and the question was which one of these represents pulmonary circulation you'd say this one right the one marked b the blue one and this one is systemic circulation and the reason you know that is systemic circulation comes from the left side of the heart and pulmonary circulation comes from the right side of the heart okay so there you go a little walk through the major parts of the interior of the heart and uh, hope that wasn't too bad you guys have a good one